This is Filament. Uh, it's free on the Epic Store this week, which is why I picked it up, but I don't actually know a whole lot about it. From what I can tell from just uh, skipping through the trailer, it seems to be a puzzle game that's about dragging cables around. Kind of like a lot of those puzzles that you saw in The Last of Us 2, um, only different. So uh, that's all I know, so let's get in there and discover this game together. It's a filament corporation vessel. No crew detected. Caution advised. Minimum distance of 200 nautical miles recommended. Rerouting trajectory. Approaching vessel. Docking request pending. Override acknowledged. Please click all the images containing an asteroid. What? <laughs> That's funny, there's a CAPTCHA on this thing. Three, two, one. Docking complete. Welcome to your destination. Okay, so I don't know if I want to be using a mouse and keyboard or if I want to be using a controller. It looks like either one is fine. This feels a little bit more natural with a controller, so I'm going to start with a controller and see if that's the best way to play. So A to interact, and oh, what? Okay, I am a little man, a little light bulb man, with a cable coming from his butt. Oh, okay. So I need to, I need to wrap the cable around this, and then go to the exit. So it has to be this direction. Because if I go this way, the cable blocks me and I can't get to the exit. Okay, I can totally see how you can make puzzles out of this. I like just the promise of that, uh, of that mechanic. Alright, so I guess I need to wrap the cable around all of these before the door opens and then I go out the door but then how is this one different it's oh okay so I can't wrap around this one because there's a wall in the way but I can wrap around other things it says hold LT to focus oh okay so if I hold LT I can just sort of see the entire picture so I need to brace Oh, wait, but if I brace that way, I miss the other two. Oh, this is nice. It's teaching me so much in just one puzzle. So I gotta weave all the way around all of these things and head out. you look at that an intruder you're a little more disheveled than your traditional knight in shining armor i was hoping to be saved by someone without mustard stains on their dungarees for one but as you might be my only ticket off this vessel i'll make do i've been trapped in this cockpit for a few weeks now and this is the first time anything on this damn console has turned up you can hear that right to those anchors on your way in it seemed to help Taking a look at that one over by the wall. Please let me help you. You can hear her voice, right? Or do I need to like raise the volume? Let me know. So wait, there's something on the wall that I need to do. Is it this? No, wait. Where? What? Where is she sending me? Okay. Uh, Broxka says uh, barely, but yes. Okay. So let me raise the volume of the game a lot, but then. Let me take down everything but dialogue. So next time she talks, hopefully, hopefully she will be louder than everything else. In fact, let me just do that a little bit more. So I, this is something I should do way more often when I'm streaming PC games. Is it just is it just so you can hear dialogue but you're not being overwhelmed by 
Let's see, listen to that. That was the, the music. Come on, music. Okay, interesting. I feel like the music probably needs to go down the most. That's still pretty loud, but uh, is that okay? Can you hear me now? I think it, it, I should probably just learn some standard practices for these settings um, so that we don't have to uh, mess with it all that much. Next time she talks, let me know if I've got a good mix or if I need to mess around with stuff some more. Hold B to restart. Okay, so. It does feel like I've still made the music louder than it was before. So if I go this way. So I think, I feel like the only way to get that one is to go this way, right? Because if I, yeah, if I go that way, I miss it. Unless, oh wait, what if I, aha, this, this is what I need to do. I'm glad I've got like infinite cable coming out of my, oh my gosh. <laughs> This is the best way to teach the restart button. That is awesome. By the way, from the fact that I've got no comments in the chat, I'm assuming that this audio level is working for you right now. Um, but, okay, so check it out. They gave me the most complicated puzzle I've had so far. Really challenges me, but at the very beginning, they gave me a really easy problem to accidentally bump into that ruins the entire thing. So... I gotta restart and wrap the cable this way before I get started. That was amazing. I am I am very, very impressed with this puzzle design so far. And just the overall user experience in the tutorial. This is this game, they know what they're doing. And then RT to rewind. Okay, so if I do this and then do a bunch of stuff and come back. Will I be able to reach the door? I think I won't. So I suspect getting this is gonna have to be the last thing I do. Okay. I think, I, oh, I can't do that from that direction. So does that mean I need to do something more like this? The reason I'm coming over here is because I think I can't just touch this and leave because I pull the cable away from that last spot. So I have to go all the way around and then this way. Now, let me just see what RT does, because I think I didn't make whatever mistake they were hoping I would make to learn how to RT, but... Oh, interesting. You know what it didn't do? It didn't show any of my backtracking. So basically... Now, I'm curious, like, if I... Okay, so when I rewind... I'm not rewinding time. I'm rewinding the cable. My character is just moving in the direction of the cable until the cable runs out. Oh, right. That's not what I'm doing. Sorry. I just, I forgot what my solution to the puzzle was for a second. Because <laughs> I was so enamored of the fact that their rewind button actually just literally rewinds the cable. It gets still exactly the right word for it. But it didn't do what I expected. I expected it to basically step back through all of my mistakes as well as all of my good moves. But no, it only just rewinds the cable and then hold Y to return to the ship. Do I do I need to return to the ship or are they just telling me that now? Okay. Okay, let's see. So I think 
I think I have to do this from this angle. And then I have to go around here in order to brace against that. And then I have to go this way. Holy crap, okay. Huh. Let's see, okay, so to get this one, I need to brace against... Oh, even if I brace against that, I still can't get this one. Well, how will I ever get it? There's nothing for me to hook onto over here. This corner isn't gettable. And if I do this, that doesn't work. Do I have to come at it from the other angle somehow? Like, oh, wait a minute. Oh, look at that. This one is connected to that door. And then this one is connected to this door. And then I can go back out this door and leave. Okay. That seems obvious now that I see it. This is going to start getting real complicated. <laughs> so I'm just making this up as I go right now. Okay, but now I can't. Well, let's grab this one first. And then I can do that. Yeah, this is not, you don't do these in an intuitive order. What do you know? You're a natural. Looks to me like you shut it down entirely, which makes a lot of sense now that I think about it. Never imagined how much the anchors would mess with the ship's systems when the others installed them. I guess they really fried some circuits down there, huh? On the bright side, I do now appear to have full access to the annex you're standing in. Now, I know it's a big ask, considering we just met and that I've already insulted you, but if you keep shutting down the anchors like that, I might have a real chance at getting out of here alive. What do you say? Oh, let me grab those doors for you. What about these doors? What's in here? Oh, fine, whatever. Okay, yeah, so Paroxica says that uh, they can hear her tons better. I really should do this in every game I play on PC. All right. There's a lot of nice set dressing here. Oh, look at this. Somebody's trying to work out the answer to a puzzle right here. Is this going to be important someday? <laughs> I don't know. So it looks like there's cables in this actual world. I wonder if I'm going to be pulling cables around just myself as well. Gnu. So Ranith Court says there should be an adjust audio page. It just plays different kinds of audio as you're adjusting them. I absolutely agree. That is, that is completely the right way to do, uh, to do an audio setting screen. so that I can actually make those decisions on that screen. Okay, so got a bunch of set dressing here, which is nice. By the way, I like the way these little fades go. It's like fading these rooms out, replacing them with this sort of teal color. The thing I'm not finding is anything interactive, <laughs> which is a problem. I need to interact with something. A lot of first aid kits on the wall. That's uh, heartening. Does this open? No. It's funny to me that like, these puzzles are extremely clever, but they're also, oh, here we go. Also figure outable. The thing that's hardest to figure out is where they want me to go in these rooms. Okay. So, so 
so is what am I trying to accomplish here? There's a number on the left side of the screen. I'm not sure what it means. It's going up right now. Now that that puzzle solution in the other room seemed to be a hint for this. I just want to figure out what do the numbers mean? So two. So this is one. This is two. That's zero. Three. Okay, so this is two, seven, two, six. So that's a four. Five. So does each of these have a value? Four. Five. Four. How odd. How extremely odd. Because one thing I can see, like it says seven eight DC four one five zero. So that seems like it's like a code that I need to somehow input. Like that's the order in which I need to do these things. Wait, that's not a, it's like a, what number is that? That's a nine. It's a backward six. That's a D and that's a backwards nine. Huh. That's an F. And that's a C. Okay, so this is DC. So if I can figure out where 7 and 8 are. It's like a B. So could this could be hex. Which means it, it could still be adding up. But it's just adding up hex. Which, you know, for those of you who don't know, hex is, uh, hexadecimal is a numbering system where you don't, you don't just count up to 10, you count up to 16, um, uh, but use A, B, C, D, E, F as additional numbers after 9. And so I could see this maybe being, yeah, because, like, this is 3, and this is 7, and if I go straight here, oh, no, it's just 7, oh. This one's seven. Okay. I thought that I saw something adding at one point. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I didn't ever see it add. No, that still says six. That says five. That says one. Five. Okay. In my head, I thought I saw one of these add up in some way, but like one, two. No. Okay. No, never mind. There's no math going on. These just are the numbers they are. So, so this is seven. Where was eight? That's something. That's B. That's nine. That's eight. So is there a way to go straight from seven to eight to D to C to four to one, one, five, five, zero? We got it. Okay. I don't know why I thought math was going on there. Because there was not math going on. It was just saying whatever the last note I touched was. Okay, so. Oh, by the way, Bardic Angel points out that um, those back, the backward six was an A. And the backward nine was an E. Of course it was. You're absolutely right. That makes perfect sense now that I'm thinking about it. Um... All right, so let's see here. Airlock Annex, whatever, blah, blah, blah. What am I... How do I navigate this? What does this say? What does this say? Oh, here we go. Filament Corporation 1983. Okay. Uh, the Filament Corporation is excited to inform you from Redacted Loyal Operative. The Filament Corporation is excited to inform you that your registration as a captain is now complete. You have been allocated to the crew and vessel of Dolomite. Uh, a manifesto of your crew accompanies this message in order to maintain 
uh, control of your allocated crew, we have found it beneficial to allocate captains a new name, so your crew has a means of identifying you. What? So, oh, oh, oh so your crew has no means of it. I was going to say, I've got a name, why don't you use that name? But they're saying no means of identifying you. So you can be an absolute jerk. Okay. Well, let's look at removable storage. Username Juniper. Uh, there's a bunch of stuff here. All of it is corrupted, I guess. Is this going to be unlockable collectibles or something? This is just, this list is going down forever. It's just going down forever. Is there something at the bottom? Please tell me there's something at the bottom. Nope. Okay. Well... Neat? I, 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 what did I, what did I accomplish? Um, systems report? Ah, here we go. Okay, I don't, I don't know. Okay, it's floor one, floor two, floor three. Looks like floor one has got a little filled in square on it so maybe this is my progress and it shows three anchors in the adjoining room so yeah okay so I think I am in the upper right corner of this map maybe and it's showing that I've completed something in the upper left corner I remember seeing three devices in the room that I went into and so that kind of makes sense that the next room over could be where I was voice recordings Warning approaching vessel. Oh, here approaching we go. Approaching vessel. Signature. Okay, this is what we heard at the beginning. Well, would you look at that? Okay, so this is all the things that Annex has said to what me. What do you know? You're a natural. Okay, so this is just recordings of all our stuff. Okay, so I think that's not the actual puzzle. Um, okay, so these things. I think these are anchors. I think these are the things I'm trying to clear. I want to move faster than this. So... Does that mean that... Aha! Over here. This thing is interactive. Right here. Alright! Yes, we found where the game is. Okay, what do you bet... That dark one is bad. Oh, yeah. So as long as the dark one is active, I can't get any future ones. So I have to avoid it. So I think I can do something like this. By the way, I like that they've got that sort of white line around the bottom of the screen, so when you've succeeded, it shows you that around the bottom of the floor. We did a purple one. It goes dark, and there's purple panels on the wall. So the entire world sort of lights up in whatever situation you're in. All right. So I have to... Hmm. That might need to be the last one I get, actually. Okay, so I can use these little projections to avoid the dark ones, but that means I also don't get this guy. So what, from what angle could I brace against this surface? So the problem with this direction is I can't ever get back. Which is what made me think that maybe I needed to try to get the other side first and have that be the... Now, actually, if this was the last thing I did, I, s I still couldn't get to the door. So this one right here, this is the biggest mystery. Like, I can do this and... 
come back this way. But I'm having trouble thinking of how I could do that and and be able, and not have just blocked myself off entirely. Like even if I if I go here directly, okay, I can still catch the edge of it if I go this way. Okay, okay, so maybe I can capture the other two and still make it to the exit if I get that one. So, is there a way for me to go from one of these to this and set it off? It looks like maybe not. Uh, what if I, I went from here? Then I'm getting. I have to get these after it because I need to have somewhere to go from here, something to wrap around to come back and get to the exit. So I can't just use these to get here. I could use one of them. Okay, so I bet the ending of this puzzle looks like this. I think this is the ending of the puzzle. The question is, how can I get here from where I am? Because basically, I need to come around this, go this way, after. Unless... Uh, yeah, so that doesn't, that doesn't do it. And I don't... I don't think... This, this would be nice and all, but I'm blocking myself off, so no. So Bardic Angel is suggesting that I go around the upper middle and down to the left. So that will get me all of these, but it cuts off that last one. I don't think I've got an angle that I can do it from there. And I don't know how long ago you suggested that because I've, I've been engrossed and I haven't looked at the chat. And I'd love to, like, you know, do this first, but then there's no way to connect to this one. Now... Oh, wait a minute. Oh, I've got it. I've got it. I've got it. I've got it. If I can get... Actually, no, I don't have it. Yes, no, I do have it. I do have it. So as long as I... Getting... I didn't have to... Originally, I got here from the bottom right. But as long as I hit this corner, it doesn't matter how I got there. So now... Wow! This game is... Imagine trying to come up with this puzzle. There are so many tiny details that make it so this is the only possible solution. And it took so much effort to get here. I had to work backward. Wow. This game is nuts. Okay, so... And man, did, did this escalate quickly or what? Okay. The big mystery here, I think, is this one. Alright, so yeah, okay. I have to wrap it like that, I think. And similarly, I think I have to go this way to reach the exit. Oh. Uh, dang it. Okay, this almost works. <laughs> it almost works. But it doesn't. It doesn't work. No, wait a minute. Okay, what if I... Oh, what if I just do this one first? Ah, uh, yeah. That works. Okay, so I guess at its core, this isn't that complex. Basically, I mean, like, it looks like it's complex because of the geometry, but I'm betting somebody could draw out a plan for one of these, basically saying you can or cannot 
use this side of this square. It might not be as complex to plan these as it looks, but it sure looks complex. I think I might actually need to hit... Nope. I think I'm never getting that one now. Okay, so I think this one is unlikely. No. Okay. So that middle one is weird. I have to. Well, it can't be this way. Um, I have to somehow go diagonally past it from a couple different directions. Okay, so I can't do that. I'm just. I'm doing trial and error right now. I'm just like. So I'm, I was just imagining, basically, what if I came around this this one from a different angle? Then I could hit these, but then... Oh, this is going to hit purple. Yep. So this seemed good, <laughs> but... Now, if I grabbed everything else first... No, this puts me back in the situation I was in before. <laughs> Paroxicus says, it seems easier to create but harder to figure out because now you have to figure out what somebody else was thinking. Yeah, totally. Oh, wait, just one moment. That was just uh, Calliope at the door. So I want to finish this round of puzzles and then it'll be Calliope's turn to stream. All right, so it's, it's weird. This went from, like, fascinating and intuitive to being, like, how in the world am I expected to do this? <laughs> it's escalating quickly. This is what I did before. This is, this is my original route, and this is... So I messed myself up here because there's no way now to go back to this. So it feels like, actually... There are... There are so many landmines, so many things I can't do. Like, I can't go here first. That's obvious, so I can just eliminate that. I can't go here first. I can go around this way, but that kind of forced me down. Oh, wait, did I try that last time? I didn't try that last time. Okay, but I can't get this one. And I think I've cut off like, I have to hit this one from the lower left or from the upper right. But that that leaves me with no way out. I can't... And I have to get it from, like... I have to hit this corner without hitting that corner. So, I think that I've proven that this route isn't going to work. Because, like, I could go from here, but not there's nowhere for me to go. So... So I've proven that this doesn't work. This route is not a plan. And so I liked the idea that I had earlier. So, so, so I've tried to go around here and that led me nowhere. I've, tr I've tried to go around here and that also led me nowhere. I've tried going around here. Have I? Have I tried that? That also leads me nowhere. So I'm going to pause it. Now, I don't know if there could be a clever thing that I've missed, but I think this is not the way to go. I think this, followed by this, I wonder, can I ever, nope, this is not going to work. So this, followed by this, ooh, maybe followed by this. I didn't do this last time. Followed by that. Okay, so now we've got a problem. Maybe it's not followed by that. Maybe it's followed by this, followed by that. No, it's, wait, no, will I avoid the purple? No, I will not avoid the purple this way. Dang, I can't go all the way across. And that's fine, I would have had nowhere to go from here anyway. Okay, so if I wrap around here, if I wrap around this way ever, okay, I can only do this if it's my last move. 
I can go this way if it's my last move, but otherwise I can't go this way because there's nowhere to go that doesn't hit the purple. So does that mean, oh, but I can't go this way because then I lose that one. So Randall Court asks, can I do a 360 around the top middle? Uh, I can't because I hit my own cable, unfortunately. But it could be, if I didn't have to worry about that top middle one, I could get out of here. So I think, what if I grab, can I grab the top middle one earlier in the sequence? Is this rewind? Like for instance, if I grab it like this, no, now I'm missing that top bit. And I can't, like, that doesn't help me. Um, and this is, this is silliness, right? This can't be it. No, yeah, because I'll never get this one. Though, I mean, everything else, I could get everything else, except for that one I haven't lit up. And there isn't a way to grab that earlier? I don't think so. Huh. Yeah, so I really, I liked this. This felt good. I'm never using this, which might be an indicator of something going wrong. Yeah, this is just, oh, grr. Okay, let's back up. Oh, whoa, he can't go through that. That was funny. Um, I really feel like I demonstrated to myself that this was the right way to go, that there wasn't a better way to go. But I could have been wrong. Okay, so one way to get this middle one is to wrap around this direction. The other way to get it is to wrap around this direction. But if I do that, I think I'm cut off here. Unless, okay, we're backtracking now and kind of doing, I feel like, okay, this is the thing that I feel like I determined was not workable before. Why was it? I think it wasn't workable because I could never get this one. Like from this angle, unless, you know, I don't think this works. Like I have to be very careful with this one. Now, if I could do this one next. Okay, I'm, I'm about to try something I don't I don't think will work. I don't think this is gonna work. Um, going around and trying to nail that one really early. That can't work, right? Like what? Like getting this one really, really early. This is just a this is just a spiral. Except wait, if I go this way. And then I unwind this. What? This is the answer? What? Hold on. That's the answer? I mean, yeah, but. Oh, that was a nightmare. <laughs> My name's Juniper, by the way. I get the feeling you aren't going to tell me yours, so I may just have to give you one. Philemon Court protocol is to allocate every loyal operative a color-based code name. Unfortunately, no one told you that you should just pick one color and stick with it. Honestly, what I'm seeing is a little bit of a mess, so I might need to take a different approach to naming you. Red and blue are heroic, and you are my hero. But those are taken, and with all due respect, you've got nothing on Vermilion and yours truly. 
When I was a kid, I used to love this book. I would read it over and over again. The main character was Pluto, a socially inept bear with a can-do attitude. He tried his best. So that's what I'm going to call you. Pluto. Yeah, I like it. Well, if it can't be a planet anymore, I guess it could be a dude in a puzzle game. <laughs> All right, well, I think we've learned how this game works, and we might have just reached the limit of my ability to entertainingly solve these puzzles. Future puzzles at this rate might just be, like, maddening to watch me try to figure out. So this is probably a good time to stop streaming this game, but I am fascinated by how they come up, came up with these ideas, how they figured out how to design these things. Puzzle design is one of those aspects of game design that is kind of beyond me. Uh, I enjoy it so much because it's something that I've never really been able to figure out how to do myself. Uh, there's other parts of game design that I can that I can do, but puzzle design is just uh, breaks my brain <laughs> looking at people come up with. So this game was fascinating. I'm really excited to sort of play more of it on my own time, but I think we're probably done streaming it for now. So uh, let me throw a subscribe button up on the screen for YouTube people later on. I'll link to some other puzzle games, just because, you know, if that's what you're into, you should, you should go check those out. And we'll go stream something else.